Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Blue Eddy AC200L. This is a 2,400 watt portable power station with 2,048 watt hour of battery built in. So your battery is actually built into this one, but you can use expandable batteries. So you could use the B10, B210, the B230, or the B300 to actually expand your capacity. What I really like about this is that it has that 30 amp plug, 30 amp RV plug. So for those of you guys you looking for a portable power station you can use on your RV, this one right here is perfect for that because with 2,400 watt, you could turn on those AC, coffee makers, and a lot of other things that you can't do with like the 1800, which is kind of the, the one I chose for carrying. This one I chose for the RVs. There's another one bigger. You have the AC 300. We'll be looking at this one and the AC 500. We'll also be looking at that also in the future. Guys, let's take a closer look at this one. I'll show you all the features. Um, it has some great features on this, especially the, my favorite feature is the dual charging mode. When you get to this size, you can charge off AC and solar at the same time. It's going to prioritize solar. So if you have a lot of solar coming in, It'll kind of give the AC a break so you don't have to buy that power. It'll use your solar. But once the solar goes down at night, it'll start charging from the AC. And you can actually keep this thing connected to AC long term. Okay, so once you get to that size, you get a little bit more um, use out of your portable power stations. All right, let's get this thing on this table. Let me show you a closer look at what. So there we have it, the Blue Eddy AC200L. Let's go over it real quick. I'm just going to show you quick overview so right here you have the power button push that button once you'll see your display very nice bright display comes on over here you have your DC input DC output AC input and AC output so everything shows on this screen you have 95% that's your battery life this blue line that goes around that's your battery when it's charging you'll see whichever segment it is flashing it says 99.9 .9 hours, so it will give you a you know, predetermined runtime based on your um, power usage. Right on the bottom right here, we have a 12-volt output, cigarette lighter style, 10 amps. So you can get 10 amps out of this. On the bottom of that, Blue Eddy's new 48-volt, 8-amp output. I don't have the cable for that, so we won't be able to use this yet. Over here, you have a USB-C. Another USB-C 100 watt output. So for your large MacBooks and USB-C that needs um, heavy output, you can use this. In the middle, USB-A and then 3 amp each. So you have 3 amps on this one, 3 amps on that one. This one does not have touch screen, so your buttons are right here. DC on, USB on, and that's your AC button. There you go. You can hear the AC come on. So they just one click. 120 volts, 20 amp plugs. You have four of these. And then over here, our favorite is the uh, RV plug, 30 amp. On this side, we have all our inputs. So right here, the big one. So this is your battery expansion port. Right here is a reset. Down here, you have your AC input. This one is your DC input or your PV input. 12 volt to 145 volts. So a very large number. You can use almost any panels on this one. You have your little ground log right here. There's nothing on the back side. On this side, also nothing, just your vent. I like the handles so you can carry this thing. So there you have it, the Blue Eddy AC200L. Let's take it on the table so we can do some testing. All right, guys, so we have the RV right now. I have a portable generator and the Blue Eddy AC200L. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can use a portable generator during the day and at night when it's quiet time or you can't use your generator, you can just shut your generator off and your load should switch to your power station so this thing is hooked up to solar because I have my solar panels hooked up I have uh, 630 watts on top of the RV 
so it's gonna be feeding the generator we don't have a lot of sun today um, but we'll see what we're getting so let's turn this thing on so we're at 94 percent no nothing coming in I'll switch my solar on and as you can see like I said we don't have a lot of sun we're only pulling like 31 so on a day like today where you would not be getting a lot of solar to recharge this thing you could just turn your generator on so I'm gonna plug this generator in so I'm plugged into the generator right here let's switch it on and see what happens Alright guys, so I can't run the AC right now because it's currently 61 degrees in here. So what I'm going to do is turn on a heater. Let's just turn on a small heater and see what happens. Okay, let's see how much this heater is pulling. Alright, so we still don't have a lot of solar. But we're pulling 1,300 from the AC or the generator and 1,100 from the heater. So during the day, you could do this, still charge your unit. It works just fine. And that's one of the things I like. Let's turn the, the generator off and see what happens when you turn it off at night. So let's see what happens. Since this generator has a remote, I can just shut it off from the inside and we'll see what happens. There you go. So I shut the generator off and instantly went to uh, back on battery power. So absolutely no problem. And that's one of the things I like about this. If we had more solar, you could see it's just a bad day for uh, solar, real cloudy. So there you have it guys, you could use your power station during the night and during the daytime when you can turn your generator on. Just fire your generator on and you can use your power. Let's go ahead and remote start it. So one thing I noticed, the uh, switch over is kind of slow on this one. Uh, you can kind of see you lost the power and then it comes back on. But the one thing I would recommend to you guys doing is use at least a 4,500 watt generator. I tried this, like you saw before, I tried it on the Honda, does not work. On this one, it works just fine. What we're using is the uh, Gen Max 4600. So it works just fine on that one. On the 2200, did not work that's not enough power so if you are going to try this i would suggest you use at least a 4500 and up all right guys there you have it just a quick test showing you how you can use this on your rv and home it would be the same thing this one we just tested on the rv guys thanks for watching my channel hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave a comment guys thanks for watching and have a great day bye